So, uh, let me see. If y'all see, we're dealing with a little bit of rain. It is raining. It is not cooperating. I'm not cooperating today. That's all right, though. That's all right, though. So, another quick little live feed. Um, if you guys all seen, my first qualifier is down and in the bag, in the books, or whatever you want to call it. We did pretty good for the first qualifying round. Did pretty good for the first qualifying round. We went ahead and stuck it out. I said, fuck it. Nigel Freak is going to run his qualifying round. So, we went ahead. Uh, let me see. Looks like this is lagging a little bit. The internet's probably a little, little shoddy shady. Let me see. Craig Homer, what's going on? GWT181. GWT181 still feeling like shit. I did go ahead and qualify, though. Deontay, what's up? Gurus. Nitro Mark. <clears throat> so, yeah, guys. I, I did I did stay. Uh, I haven't left. Um. I still still feel like shit. Uh, my voice still is burning. It hurts. Um, yes, it's raining. It is right now. Um, doesn't look as smoky. Yeah, it's 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 actually um, now now that it's rained, it looks like you know it, it's actually clearing the building out that the temperature's gone down and all that stuff so um it, the the conditions inside the arena have gotten a little bit better so that's that's a plus um so the way it's looking all right so after i got done with my first qualifier they did what's called um a reshuffle so they did the reshuffle and my second qualifier probably be around maybe 8 o'clock tonight. Um, so I'm number 48 this time. So I was in group 46. Now I'm in group 48 this time. Uh, Nicholas Anderson, what's up? So I'm in group 48 this time. Um. And then probably what's going to happen is my uh, third qualifying round. The third qualifying round probably will not be till like maybe 2, 3 in the morning. But I'll be honest, I'm not... Um, let me see. I keep forgetting I have this damn holder in my truck to do my life. Let me, let me put that on there. There, I ain't got to hold that damn thing. So, my third qualifier will probably be 2, 3 in the morning, somewhere around there. I'm not going to run my third qualifier. I'm, I'm not getting up at 2, 3 in the morning to run a qualifier. I mean, I just, I'm, I don't feel well enough now. Um, in fact, what's probably going to end up happening is I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to do my first main, um, because it looks like my mains are going to be later on in the day. At the time, my mains probably end up going on. I have to be on the road to get back to North Carolina. Um, so, I'm still racing, still running the track, and that's all I wanted to do. Uh, I'm just using this time to get run that track as many times as I can. So, I'm going to do one more qualifier, see how I do, and uh, that'll... That, that, that'll probably be, probably be it. But who knows now if any of my first main is going to be like early morning or mid-afternoon, then I will go ahead and run the first main. But I have to be out of Tennessee because um, we have to, we have to check out of the hotel, I think at 12, 12, yeah, 1130, 12 o'clock, I think is checkout. Um. So I will probably end up getting up early in the morning, already have my stuff packed up out of the hotel, get here to the track, um, check to see when the first main is. Um, 
and then my plan is, since it's a six hour ride back, if I leave, no later than, let's say, uh, probably around between two, three o'clock, will put me around eight, eight thirty, nine o'clock at night, getting home somewhere around there. Then I gotta have enough time to get a shower, probably get something to eat, get everything unloaded, unpacked. Um, and that was another thing too. Hot hoopty, I do want to try to be able to run, you know, stop through where you're at, stop in, say hi, hello. Um, I'm gonna try big dog. I can't guarantee that that's gonna happen. Um, it all is going to depend on when I leave here, okay? So, whenever I leave here and get on the road, um, I've got your number and everything. I'll give you a call and try to figure out, um, you know, how far away I am from you. I'll have to get your address and all that stuff. And uh, we'll see. We, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I know right now I am fucking... I get tired of shit. Ugh. I think I need another damn nap or I need to go back to bed for a little bit or something because I am freaking tired. I will say that. Um, but the first qualifier wasn't bad. It wasn't the best. I, I will say that. I found out real quick. Um, the motor I'm using has way too much bottom end for the track. Trying to carry my uh, turn speed throttling in and out of the corners. I'm just blowing the tires off it. So we're going to make a tire change. Um, I was actually running a, a too hard of a compound tire. So we're going to run the uh, Super Soft J-Concept Reflexes. Which are what pretty much everybody here at the uh, arena is running. Let me see. Any drinking this weekend? I was expecting some party. Oh, we've done some drinking. We did. We just haven't put that on uh, film. <laughs> no, we haven't put that on film. We 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 we've done a little bit of drinking. Um, we have done that. Um, we've drank a few already today. Um, we got our uh, our moonshine. I keep that on the down low. We got on the moonshine from uh, one of my YouTubers. I'm not going to throw his name out there. Oh, shit. Phone down. <laughs> let me fix that. There we go. Let me, let, let's get, all right. God damn it, come on. Let me get that phone back up in there. There we are. All right. Anyways, phone fell out. Uh, I'm not going to say who we got the moonshine from. I think most everybody knows, but, um. Yeah, we did a little bit of drinking, but we didn't we didn't put none of that uh, on film. That 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 doesn't go on film. Um, but I, but I may for my second qualifier, I may take that Nova Rossi Roma out of there. Um, <laughs> hot rod, too much shine. Drop the phone. Um, may may try and take the Nova Rossi out, put the Maxi Cinco 2.0 in, and see if that does any better made a tire change from the uh, gridiron so I was for the first qualifier I was running the gridirons the gridirons were uh, too hard of a compound um, so uh, we're gonna try the J concepts reflex super softs um, so what was cool is I actually got Dakota Fenn to take a look at my stuff and give me an idea of what to do for the next qualifier so that in itself was really 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 cool um so dakota fenn's always been one of my favorite pro drivers and through practice i did good did, did really good on the uh practices um nitro mark mr send it rc's real name is matt kennedy um, I, probably nobody knows that. I always refer to, to him as Mr. Send at RC. But I know for you guys that are looking for him on uh, Live RC, Send at RC's real name is Matt Kennedy. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was really, really cool that Dakota Fenn was willing to help me um, 
go ahead and, and do a setup because, you know, like I told him, I said, hey, man, I uh, I run the 8XT Chuggy just like you do. I was wondering if you can give me some pointers on what are you running making your Chuggy stick as well as I've seen it because I've been watching Dakota Fenn all weekend run and his his Chuggy is handling like it is on rails. So he's like, no problem, man. He's like, so what do you run? You know, he's asking me, what am I running for tires? What am I asking? Or what am I running for shock weight oil, dip weight oils and all that stuff? So I told him and it was really, really cool. He's like, well, I tell you what, you know, we need to, it sounds like your driving is decent. You, you know what you're doing. We just need to get your platform to stick better. So he's like, you know, go to the super soft hole shots, which I don't have any super soft hole shots for chuggy got a bunch for buggy i don't i forgot to bring all my tires that i had for chuggy here as always you gotta check check recheck triple check and all that shit and again even when i thought i had everything um i forgot just about all my tires for chuggy which really at first i didn't plan on running chuggy i was gonna run buggy but then after thinking about it I was like, you know what? I ran buggy last year. Let's run, let's run chuggy this year. So that's what I ended up doing. Um, but uh, well, Craig Homer, here's the thing: I'm not following a pro's setup because I'm not a pro. I don't drive like him. But I told him basically what was going on with my car. I've tried a few things here and there to figure out to do. Um, of my knowledge of what I could do and he gave me basics now and that was one thing we talked about like I told him I said I don't want your fine tuning setup because I don't drive like you um, and we we've already talked about this in past live feeds before because that's the exact same advice that I give to others don't try to use pro drivers setups I'm not, do, you know, and it's the same with me. I'm doing the same thing. I am, I am not going to use Dakota Fenn setups. What I was asking from him is how can I get more traction, okay, out of that 8XT? And I'm running the carbon fiber um, A-arms or the carbon fiber inserts in my A-arms. And that was one of the first things that he asked me. He's like, are you running the carbon fiber a-arm inserts or the plastics. I said, I have, I got, I, I got the carbon fiber in right now. He said, right now, all the TLR team guys here aren't even running any inserts. He said, take your inserts right out. This way the A-arms will flex more and it'll give you some more traction. That's, that's something anybody can do. Um, you know, that's not a, a pro driver thing. That's, that's a, you know, that's a platform thing. Um, and then because of the way this track is set up, the jumps, the corner, um, you know, he gave me some ideas uh, where to go on, you know, tires, what compounds to use, and uh, shock weight oils. Everything else, the way I told him I had it, he said, leave it, leave it. Um, because I, I don't want to go copy his setup, you know, what he's running. Because again, I'm not Dakota Fenn. I, I don't drive like him. I don't have his skill. Um, totally two different people. You know, he's a pro driver. I'm new at this. Uh, but he did give me some good ideas on what to change. So we're going to do that. And we will hope. Because see, the problem I'm having is my 8XT Chuggy. The front end is holding beautifully. The ass end is skating all over the place. Um, and I think what it is for one, A-arms, no flex in them with the, with the carbon fiber uh, inserts too stiff and having a medium to hard compound tire on that track is just it, it's like an ice skating rink so um after talking to everybody running there um uh, pretty much yesterday for practice everybody was just running whatever and find what worked and what didn't today just about everybody is running the j concepts reflex super softs um Big shout out to EKJ24000. EKJ24000 had an extra set, hooked me up with them. By the way, yes, guys, EKJ24000 made it here. So, again, um, I definitely want to thank everybody that, uh, you know, made it out here, has hung out with me, has helped me, uh, you know, all the stuff gotten from Hot Rod, 
EKJ24000 hooking me up with some 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 super soft reflexes is what I needed. Um, Mr. Send it RC has been pitting for me all weekend. Um, and everybody else, you know, Raja111, Wayne RC, Paul Geisler, uh, Gunpowder Nitro, I mean, the list goes on. Uh, Jeremy Williams, he was here. Nick, Nick Works was here. Uh, I mean, there, there, there's, yeah, uh, Justin Stein was here. Um, and of course, all these names that I'm name and offer all guys that come to my feet on a daily basis you guys probably recognize all those names um and there's a few others there's a few others so been real cool getting to meet everybody um everybody that's helped out contributed you know giving me advice ideas here and there uh chris nelson for his ideas if y'all caught that chris nelson tip um was it yesterday? Yesterday, yesterday. Night, night before. No, it was yesterday. Yesterday during the day, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what it was. But, <clears throat> anyways, I just kind of wanted to do a, a live feed. Um, I know everybody's been messaging me. Hey, I hope you're feeling good. Hope you're feeling better. Uh, you know, are you still there? Did you leave? Go to a urgent care or whatever? Nah, guys, I, I stuck it out. Um, stuck it out and went in. I ran my first qualifier. You know, I said to myself, you know what? I got one more in me. One more in me. We're going to try to knock out a first qualifier. Um, and we did that. We did that. Um we got some changes we got to make. We've already made the changes. The uh, Truggy is ready to go. Ready to get it back on the track. See what it's going to do with the new changes. I don't know if anybody, anybody out there watched my first qualifier on Live RC. It was on there. Um, I know one of you guys. Uh, one of you guys was running it. Simon Miller, what's going on? So I know one of you guys, um, okay, that's right, Nitro Mark, I think it was you. You were saying that you got to catch it on Live RC. Um, what'd you think? Mike, you got to watch it, what'd you think? Oh, the worst part about it, I forgot to tell you guys too. So if you guys are watching, I'm not running my American flag bodies. I just didn't have it in me to want to tear those bodies up. I don't know why. It's probably going to take me a little while, but I will eventually run them in a race that you guys will get to see me run them. I just haven't run them yet, so I'm running my uh, neon green bodies with the with the black tribal flames down the side. And that, my, that truggy body has taken a beating already. Um, I was... Uh, 11th Mike I think it was it was 11th I wrecked on the last lap got hung up inside the piping and I lost a lot of time so it is what it is but um, so when I wrecked uh, on the second lap I lost both both clips out of my body so the fucking the body was, you know, coming off the damn car and everything, and I'd be hitting the triples, sailing through the air. So my car's my car's sailing through the air, and the body's coming up like this as the car's going through. It was like a it's like a parachute to slow me down. It was pretty. It's actually pretty hilarious. But um, so we got yeah, um, it's twice I've lost both um of the front body clips I don't know why they won't stay in on that druggy but they keep coming out um, it is what it is they're just clips I think I've lost two four six clips on that track now three times the body the front body clips have coming out of that damn the posts but it is what it is brother now surprisingly I'm sending it off the triples, clearing everything. I mean, I'm clearing everything beautifully. I haven't broken nothing. I'm going to tell you what. Oh, my God. I thought I broke the truggy in half during practice. So, 
on the very, very far end back side of the track. Everybody's having a whole, everybody's having a problem with the left side. You can't see nothing. Um, I was even watching live RC and just people from around the world. They're like, why are people, you know, cutting, you know, half cutting the whole corner of the track over on the left side is like, they're a blind spot and this and that. And it's like, yeah, it's a, it's a big blind spot. Um, you can't, you can't see nothing. Um, and it really, really sucks. But, uh, um, so during practice, I think it was like my third, my third practice was late at night. Um, I wasn't paying attention. I'm on the backside of the track and I hit the, the first double landed going or no, I hit that first double and I pinned it way too much because uh, you come off a long straightaway and then you hit that big uh, double in the back going into the next set of triples and man I cleared that double overshot the landing landed into the triple I mean face first you could hear through the whole arena my car just went bang I mean it hit hit the face of the jump and bounced off and shot backwards so it's like oh yeah I broke at least both a arms or something surprisingly I didn't break nothing I did tear I tore the front of the body up um, put a crack in the front grill, but uh, rather it happen on the green bodies than on the American flag bodies. So, um, what'll happen is maybe, maybe I'm not gonna say it's a definite. I'm trying to work up to it. I just don't want to. But if I feel well enough and I and I go ahead and do my second qualifier tonight, I think I will run the. American flag truggy body. I want to run that body at least once while I'm here. I figured if I'm going to run multiple times, which I have, I have now gotten to run that track one qualifier so far in almost uh, what four or five practice. So let's say about six times. Six times I've gotten to run the track. So I still got two more qualifiers to go, which I know one qualifier I am not going to run because I know it's going to be probably around three in the morning. And then you got you got to be up at the ass crack of dawn for, you know, drivers meeting for, for main day on Sunday. So, you know, two qualifiers to me is enough. I'm not going to run all three. A lot of people, a lot of people didn't even run their first one. A lot of people are only running one qualifier. They're running their midday one. So a lot of people got to sleep in. They're going to run their midday one and ain't nobody want to run their two, three, four in the morning one. So, um, so, you know, a lot of people will, but I know a lot of people that aren't, um, everybody's like two qualifiers is enough, but they're giving you three qualifiers. So. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I know I'll probably definitely do too. Then after that, I'll be done, and then we'll see what happens with the, uh, with the, uh, blah, 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 blah. with the mains. The only thing I was thinking is I brought my damn, brought my TLR t-shirt with me. I need to go get, uh, Dakota Fenn to sign. We'll get Dakota Finn and maybe the Team TLR to sign this t-shirt. Forgot all about that yesterday. I was going to have that done. I was going to try to do it today, but then with qualifying. There's a lot I haven't gotten to do yet that I wanted to, but I haven't been wanting to, you know, bug all these guys. Um, but, you know, it's been great so far. Definitely appreciate everybody hitting the thumbs up on the video. Good to see we had... Almost 26, 27 viewers. 15 thumbs up. Cool. Let me get caught up on the comments here. Let me see what we got. Yeah, Craig Homer, I got to get something to... Um, um, coat the inside of the body. That's the only thing that sucked. I didn't get a chance to put anything on the inside of the body to try to protect it. Which I really wasn't worried about that. Um, I mean, worst comes to worst, I buy a new body, send it back to Mr. Bird from uh, Guru's RC, you know, RC painting, and, and he paints me another one, just like it. I mean, it's easy enough to do, so it's it's not like it can't be done. So, 
Um, but yeah, so we'll see what happens for later on this evening. Looks like the rain is kicking up pretty good, staying steady now. I wish it would just uh, kind of hold off and slow down, but who knows? We'll we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I, I will say this, Craig Homer. One thing I learned real, real quick is that uh, you'll 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 beat up a lot of bodies racing. That's for damn sure. That is for damn sure. All right, Hot Hoop D, take it easy. So let's see. They're on 29 right now. So we still got 10, 18 races to go before we're up. And it's almost 5.30. So maybe 8. Between 8 and 9, I, I would have to imagine between 8 and 9 is probably when my uh, next qualifier will be up. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll go out. We'll uh, do one more qualifier, and uh, that'll be it. Like I said, I probably won't end up running any of my mains um, just because I have to be out of Tennessee if my mains aren't till later on in the afternoon. Now, now maybe, like I said, if, if any, if, if really what's been happening, Nitro Sportsman, Nitro Truggy, we are always at the last of the lineup. So, what's going to happen? First qualifier, that was number 46. Second qualifier, 48. Third qualifier, they'll probably be at 50. Um, so that would mean going into the mains, possibly um, if they put me at the end, they start running at 6.30 in the morning, that would be probably almost around... One two o'clock in the afternoon, and that would and that would have to be right about at the time that uh, I'll, I'll probably be leaving out of leaving out of here tomorrow. Um, I haven't decided yet. Um, I just have some some stuff, some prior engagements that I got from Monday. That you know, like I said, it's gonna take me six hours to get back home. I can't stay here all day and then try to, you know, make the long trek back to North Carolina. And, you know, I can't afford to be getting home late at night and trying to get all this shit un uh, unpacked back in my shop and, you know, get everything taken care of I got to before Monday morning. Um, so, you know, like I said... I've done more than what I set out to do, which, which is the good thing. Like I told everybody, I probably wasn't even going to race, and here I am, I'm racing. Like I told everybody, hey, I might surprise you, and I've done it. So I've been running the whole time I've been here, which the plan was, is, was not to run, was just to come here, hang out, party, you know, everybody knew that. But I threw it one step farther, and I went ahead and paid the entry fee, um, Paid the entry fee, got my driver's pass. <sighs> Hundred bucks just to have this to hang around your damn neck on a cool Mark Santa Maria lanyard. <laughs> Anyways, um, but we practiced a whole lot. Ran one qualifier. We'll do one more qualifier. See where we end up in the field, and uh, that's a wrap. Year uh, be uh, year number two PMB down in the book. So, and then maybe there's always next year. But uh, after this, we're gonna try to hit the Mugen Challenge, and I'm gonna try to hit two more, two more big races this year, and then you know some some local club racing. Um, I'm not going to try to really do a whole lot of these big races. Uh, it's just, they're a pain in the ass and, and they're a lot of money. They're, they're, they, it's a lot of money to do them. Um, you know, maybe in another year I get a full year under my belt of, of racing and running and hitting the tracks and all that stuff, you know, 
we're getting better every time we run every time we run so like I tell everybody I'm one of the newest guys at this at my age everybody knows I've been primarily a basher my whole life last year going to PMB was my first big race um, entering and I've been trying to hit every race I possibly can since then so we got more races to do this year that's for damn sure um, yes my world of RC is has in their season opener I will be there for that because that's an hour down the road so um, we will be doing the world of RC season opener and uh, run that we're gonna be hitting red brush um, which is Mount Erie and what's the other one SBM I think it I think it, they call it yeah SBM so that big race whenever that's coming up because you know Chris Nelson I think is gonna be at that one as well which is cool we were talking about that yesterday um, so yeah other than that guys that's all I got um, I wanted to kind of do a little live feed and a walk around and all that, but it's pouring rain. I have my phone out while it's pouring rain and all that shit, so it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I gotta figure out how to remember that. There we go. Anyways, um, so yeah. Uh, WCRC, that's, that's the other one I was trying to think of, Michael, WCRC. But, uh, other than that, that's all I got, guys. Anybody got any questions? Anybody got any special requests while I'm here? Grab something for somebody? Uh, I don't know. The only person I think that I haven't got to talk to quite a bit, uh, or two people, um... Tebow and Tessman. Um, Drake, Lutz, Fend, all the all the team TLR guys, Jackson Brunson. Um, quite a quite a few, quite a few of all the big pros I've gotten to spend some time with and happen. Michael, the uh, Mugen Challenge is in Pennsylvania. Um, but I've gotten to spend a lot of time with a lot, with a lot of cool people, a lot of cool people. Um, but, uh, Dustin, no, not yet. Um, thank you for reminding me. I, I need to go try and do that today. Get Lutz to sign that, uh, uh, what you call it? The, the pink headed alpha that I brought with me. I want him to sign the head of it. What y'all think of the uh, live feed that I did the other day or yesterday with the with the rocket cars, Joe Girding? I know you saw that because I saw you commented on it. The Nemo tent is in there; is right next to where Lutz is pitting. Uh, Craig Homer, I did see that. I saw Team Nemo on a on a something on there. Um, let me see. Yeah, so that, that's that's really the only next biggest thing I want to do before this is all over with is I got to get with Lutz one more time and have him sign the uh, his older version, um, the Lutz World Edition engine, get his signature on that. Since I have two of the pink-headed Ryan Lutz, one I run, one is brand new and I don't run. Um, so the one that's new and that I don't run... Um, that's what I'm going to be having him sign. Terp, to be honest with you, Terp Ed, I, I don't know what they put for uh, rocket engines on those things. I didn't get to really look at them things up close. I don't really know if anybody has other than, you know, uh, Joe Bombhorst. Bomb, Bombhorst, I can't ever say his name. Bombhorst was running it, and then uh, Cole Ogden ran the other one. By the way, guys, um, so if you were watching that video and RC Live did a thing, did you guys see the guy that got hit with the rocket car? 
So if any of you guys hadn't recognized him, he's somebody from my live feed. <laughs> we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that later on. Um, but yeah, the dude that almost got taken out with <laughs> with the rocket car. Cole, so Cole Ogden, the first time, um, so the first time Cole Ogden tried to make the run, it pulled hard hard right it stripped out the servo um so as soon as he hit it the rocket came on it it pulled hard right shot across the parking lot hit a guy in uh in the foot um it, it didn't didn't cut him open or anything i mean it hit him pretty hard but not enough to do any damage so he's somebody that's in my live feed all the time um <laughs> which is funny Raji 111 and RC Newbie were both sitting on the front of the grass when that happened. They they all got up, moved back up into the lawn. Uh, that was pretty hilarious. Um, but make sure I've done like what five or six live feeds. If you guys haven't caught them all, um, go back and catch the last two. Um, take a look at them. Uh, you know, watch. I don't. I don't think a lot of people have caught all this stuff. That I put out. Yeah, the Raminator, that, that was hot hoopties. That and the uh, the Baja that he had. Um, yeah, I was hoping maybe we'd be able to get to run that Baja one more time before we get out of here. But the weather's not looking too promising or anything to be able to run that one more time. But who knows? Maybe it'll dry up later. I don't know. It's already 530. So, um, actually, wait a minute. Hey, so who, uh, can anybody tell me real quick, what number race are they on? Mike, I know you were looking on Live RC, if you could let me know what race they on, because I'm 48. It's 5.30 now, I think you said they were on 30. So I had like, what, 18 to go, was it? 38. No. They were on 28. What the hell was it? 11 Charlie RC, what's going on, my man? We're down here in, well, I don't want to say sunny Tennessee for the Psycho Nitro Blast because, as you can see out the, the, the windshield, it's uh, pouring rain. <laughs> We're sitting out in the pits in the pouring rain. But if somebody is looking on Live RC, somebody tell me what race they're on right now so I can trying to judge to give you guys an idea of you know when I'll be going up again I know everybody everybody keeps messaging me and calling my phone is like when are you going up again when are you going up again when I was like I don't know man I'm just I just I'm like everyone else I keep sitting here watching live RC um in order to see when I go up that, that's all we can do so I really can't give a clear indication to everybody okay so they're on 30 right now and I'm 48, so 18 more races. So, yeah, 30, 30 to 40. I'm 48. So, yeah, we're, we're, it's 5.30 now. We're probably looking at 8.30, 9 o'clock, I would say. Uh, a couple more hours before I go up again easily. Because they will have to stop water, do track water, track maintenance, or whatever they want, whatever they call it. Um and all that stuff so they're doing the last heat uh 40 plus nitro buggy what up curtis all right so yeah if they're on 30 right now cool so that means my second qualifier i'll go back up into the arena um let's say i'm i'm estimating between 8 and 8 30. Yeah, it should be between 8 and 8.30. But if you guys are getting all, if you guys are subscribed to Live RC, um, you guys should be getting the notifications of when they're uh, 31. Okay, so they're on 31 right now. So we still got 17 to go. That's still a little ways. Still a little ways. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a little while before we get up there. That's for sure. I wish this freaking rain would stop. Rain, rain, go away. All right. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get off here. Uh, I'm going to go back into my pit stall. 
I'm gonna make a few more changes, sit around, drink a beer or two. Um, Bob's RC, what's going on? I'm gonna sit around, drink a beer or two, and then get ready to knock out this second qualifier. Um, knock out this second qualifier. So like I said, if you guys are watching on Live RC, I go up 48 will be my second qualifier. You'll just have to uh, check on Live RC and uh, see where we're at. It's too easy to do. Yup, Nick Baker, Nitro Freak, still sticking it out, let me tell you. I want to try to take a little bit of a nap, maybe get an uh, hour, hour and a half nap or something to see if my, my voice feels any better. Because I'll be honest, guys, I, I, I was saying, y'all heard what I said earlier. I said, you know what? I feel too shitty. I'm not, I'm not, I'm done. I'm done for the week. I'm not running no qualifiers, no mains. I'm not racing. And I went ahead and did my first qualifier. And I'm saying it again now. I don't, I really don't feel, I feel horrible, horrible, horrible right now. I don't want to do this second qualifier. But if it's, if it, it's not stupid, stupid late. Um, we'll see how I feel. I will probably knock out one more qualifier, but, um, my third qualifier, I will not do because that's going to be somewhere in the realm of two, three, possibly even four in the morning. Um, 10 o'clock, I'm calling it. I'm going back to the hotel 10, 11 at the latest. Um, yeah, 10 or 11 at the latest and, and get some sleep because I've got, I've got a long drive back uh, home to North Carolina tomorrow, so, um, Mike, who's pitting for me? Send it RC. Mr. Send it RC is pitting for me. Um, he's pitted for me the whole time I've been here, so that's been awesome and great in itself, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna try to get a little bit of rest and then uh, probably have to wait to eat some kind of dinner after the last qualifier or whatever, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, hopefully I feel well enough to go ahead and knock out one more qualifier because I really want to see how the Chuggy acts with the changes that I made. Um, I've seen what it can do on that track on a base setup. Um, but I had crappy, just, I don't want to say they weren't crappy tires. They were nearly new, great tires, but just wrong compound. Too hard. Needed super softs. I didn't have any super softs. So, EKJ was nice enough to lend me a set of his J-Concept uh, reflux. So, we'll see what they do. Um, big shout out to my man, EKJ. Way to hook up Team Send It RC. So, everybody that is here. Um, that's part of the, the Send It RC team. It's actually been doing pretty well. Been doing pretty well. Even the Nitro Freak is doing well. And I'm surprised. As, as shitty as I feel and as horrible as I am, um, <laughs> as horrible as I am, as horrible as I feel, and as how... I, I, I'm not going to say I've been doing like exceptionally well on the track. I've been doing good. Been doing good. I'm doing better this year than I did last year, I will say that. So that's a plus. You just wanna make sure that, uh, at least for me, I wanna make sure that every year that I come to this, I do better every time I run on that track. And I could say I've done way better this year than I did last year, so. That's a good thing, that's a good thing. That's the plan every year to come here, do better every year. So far I've done that, so. Yeah, other than that, other than that, guys, I don't have anything else, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut this off, call it, and um, I want to try to get um, I gotta get my GoPro out. I haven't taken any GoPro footage of me running, but which kind of sucks. Every time I go up and run, I'm so excited about running, I forget to grab my damn GoPro. <laughs> I need to be like RC Jers and just leave it on my head all damn day. That's what he is. That's what it seems like he does. Uh, yeah, someone needs to send us an umbrella because <laughs> it's freaking still raining pretty heavy. 
Uh, let me see. Simon Miller live tomorrow. We're going to try to do a live tomorrow. We'll try to do one more live tomorrow before I get out of here and get on the road. Maybe what I might do is I might do a live feed while I'm on the road making the six hour trek back to North Carolina. Uh, it'll burn up a little bit of my time. Give me something to talk about. Uh, and, you know, if I, hey, if I can do a six, seven hour live feed sitting at home, I might as well do a six, seven hour live feed, you know, on the road and we get to talk about a whole lot. Um, and we can recap and, and talk about all the things that went on because really guys, you guys haven't even begun to hear about everything that's gone on here. Um, in my live feeds, I've mentioned quite a bit, I've showed quite a bit, but you guys haven't seen and heard everything, so... There is, there is some other cool stuff you guys haven't uh, haven't heard about yet. And, and we'll, we'll, we'll talk about some of this stuff. As always, Nitro Freak always uh, keeps some stuff in suspense. Um, so let's just hope that I can make it through one more round of qualifying. I'd like to make it through one more round of qualifying and at least try to do my first main of the morning. But I got to find out what time it is. If it's too late in the afternoon, then, you know, hey, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do it because I got to get on the road and get back home. But, you know, I wasn't even supposed to race anyways. I was only coming here to hang out and party with everybody. And I've done that. I've accomplished way more, you know, at this event than I set foot out to, to even begin to do. So I'm happy. I'm happy. Um, I'm overly impressed with everybody that came to meet me. Uh, hang out with me, help me on the track, all the pros that I've gotten to spend uh, a lengthy amount of time with, um, Drake, Chris Nelson, mainly, um, two wonderful people, uh, well, and everyone else, it's been fun, it's been great, but uh, for right now, guys, that's all I got, so... I'm going to go ahead and end this. And, um, right, RC, I appreciate that, bro. Appreciate it. Um, <laughs> why is the JQ Racing tent so dirty and the Swerks tent so big and nice? Yeah, it's, it's a little weird about <laughs> how, uh, Stuff's going on up in here, but we'll, we'll talk about some of that stuff. We'll talk about some of that stuff. But, uh, yeah, guys, let me go ahead and get off here. Um, it's 5.43. Um, I'm going to go just fire up the Truggy one more time do a last uh, once over on it. Um, I do want to go through, check all my nuts and bolts. Nothing is broke. I haven't lost anything yet. I want to try to keep it that way the whole weekend and, and hope for the best. So, Other than that, guys, that's all I got. So um, I'll keep you updated on what happens if we run the next qualifier. Um, you'll see it. Just, just remember, I'm number 48. Um, race 48 on Live RC. Um, so hope everybody that got to watch my first qualifier enjoyed it. I did pretty good. Didn't do the best, could have done better, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, hopefully these changes that we make on the Truggy this time will give me just, you know, that much more traction on the track where I can do a little bit better. Um, it sucks we only get to get out there five minutes at a time. I mean, I would love to run that track some more because it is a fun track. It's not hard i mean everybody's we're, we're able to double triple single corner in out we're, we're able to everybody is able to navigate that whole track except for the blind spot on the left side that's fucking everybody up um but uh you know we'll see what happens but other than that guys that's all i got i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and uh we'll see y'all later on as always until next time I'm out of here.